What's up, YouTube? King Bemo here, uh, here for another Wilds of Eldraine draft. We're on a really nice hot streak. I hope to continue it in this video. Um, we'll see. Let's jump right in. Okay, we got some cards here. Tail for the Ages, Enchant Creatures You Control, get plus two, plus two. Seems like a fun build around, but uh, I don't think so. Obara Dreaming Duelist, we got the Blue Black Fairy card. We have Ash the Party Crasher. A couple, couple options here. Um, I don't really like red white. I think it's pretty popular, and I don't like celebration, so I tend to stay away from it. Um, I'm gonna take the Obara. I've I've liked blue black, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Although I haven't really had a true fairies deck. Well, maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe I've drafted it a few times. We'll take the Obara here. And see what's next. Okay, uh, in this pack, we have Monstrous Rage, really good. Uh, Picklock Prankster, solid overall card, good in the fairy deck. Howling Gale Fang, also pretty good. Seated Witch, good, but I'm going to go with the Picklock Prankster here. Um, supports my first pick. Nothing broken so far. I need some removal spells. There it is. Handy Grapple, just in time. Um... Princess Takes Flight is good. I've been blown out by that card a few times. Graceful Takedown is also good, but this is easy. It's right on theme for what we want, and it's a, probably the best common uh, removal spell. Oh, easy. Easy, high pay negotiator. The fact I'm getting this pick four is fantastic. It makes me think black is open. Getting Candy Grapple and then high pay negotiator, I think black is definitely open. Um, Bars Attendance and Sweet Tooth Witch are also great, but High Pain Negotiator is excellent. Okay, next pack here we have Hopeful Vigil, really nice card. Obara's Attendance, I'm a big fan of. Spell Stutter and Conceited Witch are a few options here. Curse of the Were Fox is also great. Um, I'm going to go with the Spell Stutter, keep my fairy theme going with three fairy cards and a removal spell. Um, I've actually never cast Spell Stutter yet in this format, which is pretty surprising. So yeah, we're rolling so far. All right, Fairies is open, and I am happy. I'll take the Spell Score and Coven here. Uh, nice, nice adventure. Turn a spell to its owner's hand, so like a weak counter spell. Then a four mana two three flyer when it comes into play. Each opponent discards a card. So yeah, gotta take the Coven here. Easy pick. Uh, Dream Spoilers, another fairy. I'll just keep drafting the fairy cards if they keep getting passed to me. So, um, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, four mana, two, two. Whenever you cast a spell during your opponent's turn, up to one target creature an opponent controls gets a minus one, minus one. So, kill one of their rats easily. If I just counter one of their spells, if I like candy grapple, it could be minus four, minus four instead. I'm sure I'll get a rat out at some point that I can kind of ping two creatures or ping a 2-2. Two -two. So very happy with the draft so far. So I'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe to the video, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel off the ground. I've had a lot of success in this format so far. So copy me and do well. I'm also on Twitch. I don't stream super often, but when I do, it's the same name as YouTube. That's King Bimo TV. You can always give me a follow. I can send you a notification whenever I do go live on Twitch. Okay, we got someone who's drafting a little slow here, this Akira person. All right, uh, well dried up a little bit with this this pack, but that's okay. We have seven solid playables. So um, best card in this pack is probably uh, Utopia Sprawl. Take that, I don't, you know, playing it. Uh, Hopeless Nightmare, really nice card. Easy pick there. Now we have eight playables. 
Eight playables every pack, and we're good. That's all we need. Hopeless Nightmare. Solid card. I can bargain it with Candy Grapple. Nice. Good start. No rares, but um, we're, we're in pretty good shape right now. I can also bargain Hopeless Nightmare with my High Fan Negotiator. Uh, probably not playing any of these cards. I'll, I'll take the Water Wings just because it's on color. None of these other cards are great for their respective colors either. So the way this pack is going, I'm thinking um, black is definitely open. Blue is probably less open, but that's okay. So we'll get probably a lot more nice black cards. Pack three. Um, I'll take the Grim Search here. I haven't actually cast this card yet, um, but it is, I think it's solid. Also, I don't have any three drops before that, so. Oh, Beanstalk Worm, second last pick. That's pretty surprising. It's a solid card. Compulsion, I'm probably not playing, but it wouldn't be the worst card if I did. Okay, pack two. Um... So we have a few choices here, but I think it's pretty obviously a hey, another high fan negotiator. It's just such a bomb. Uh, huge body, great upside when you bargain it. Threadbind Clique is also really nice. Um, just four mana, three, three flying is good. Uh, if you can cast, rip the seams, awesome. You have a nice removal spell. Um, Evolving Wilds is great. There's no way Threadbind Clique tables, but maybe um, Stingblade Assassin or Spell Stutter tables. All right, in this pack we have a Gatekeeper, we have a Sweet Tooth Witch, we have a Prophetic Prism. Uh, probably not going to play Spreading Seas. Um, I think I'm going to take the Gatekeeper here. Okay, very happy with this draft so far. I think we'll play all of these cards potentially. <clears throat> Maybe I think Rowan's Grim Search is probably the worst card in my pack in my in my deck so far. Uh, I don't expect to play Water Wings or Com Water Wings or Compulsion. Um, all right, so this pack we have a Johan Stopgap. That's a solid card. Another Hopeless Nightmare, which is great. Another bargain target for my High Fan Negotiator and my Candy Grapple. Gadwick's first duel is nice, just kind of does a bunch of stuff. Um, I can end up copying my Candy Grapple or Rowan's first Rowan's Grim Search. Um, hmm. I'm really in between the Gadwick's first deal, duel and the Hopeless Nightmare. I'm going to go with the first duel. And it's definitely close, too. Okay, Barrow Naughty is probably the pick here. Uh, fairy theme, nice two drop. Kindred Discovery. This could be kind of cool if I played this on fairies. Whenever creature control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. <laughs> uh, five mana card to do that. Uh, I think it'd be fun to play it, but like I don't think I'm going to actually play it. I'll pick the naughty if, if can you discovery tables then maybe I'll think about it, but doesn't seem very likely. Uh this pack not great for us. I'll take the tenacious tome uh, tenacious tome speaker. Basically uh three mana three two nice body. I can bargain back one of my removal spells. So not great but it's it's okay. Um, okay, this pack, we have a Obara's Attendance. Just take that. Easy pick. Nice body. Has an Adventure Upside. 
Okay, so we have Into the Fay Court, Not Dead After All, Crystal Grotto, and Neva. Okay, so Not Dead After All has a good target for Spell, Sto spell Scorn Coven. I always, always mess that, that one up. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to take, oops, what did I end up taking? Oh, I did take Not Dead After All. Okay. Not sure if I'll play it. Um, there's a lot of Enter the Battlefield cards in this format. I've had a lot of luck, a lot of success with Not Dead After All so far. Uh, here I'll take a Dream Spoilers. I did table the Stingblade Assassin, which is pretty cool. I have three four drops already. I think I'm going to take the Evolving Wilds. I'm surprised that that table, that nobody wanted that. I'll take the Prism here. I'm um, not sure if I'll play it, but I don't mind playing it. Uh, Hopeless Nightmare table. That's nice. Yeah, I Black is definitely open here. I really like how this deck's coming along. Uh, I, I could definitely use some more removal. Or rat out another Candy Grapple. Even the 4-mana Exile a Creature card. Uh, probably not playing any of these. I'll take the Candy Trail. Ice Rod Sentry, clearly no one is playing the blue-white tap deck. Neither am I. All right, there's some removal for us. We also have a Curiosity, solid card. But I'm going to take the end here. Um, kind of expensive removal spell, but I think I need it at this point. Uh, Splashy Spellcaster is nice too. Definitely a good card, but we need the removal here. Maybe we can get a rat. If I can get a rat out here and or a candy grapple, I'd be pretty pretty happy. And I think we'll pretty much have our deck built at that point. Um, none here. There's a Snare Master Sprite. It's not bad. We have a Stab Wound. Not bad. Spell sp sp <laughs> Every time. Spell Scorn Coven. Um... I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with the stab wound here just to have another kind of pseudo removal. Especially if I get in early and I'm beating them down, I could just stab wound one of their, their ground creatures and then keep going over the top with the fairies so they can't even chump block. And I could also bargain it if I wanted to. Taken by nightmares. That's a easy pick. Alright, we have a really nice oh, just getting better. Okay, we have. A, I'm going too fast. Sorry. Uh, we have a really nice black, um, blue fairy deck right now. So um, we have 22 playables easily. I'm going to play the mocking sprite here. We have plenty of four drops, plenty of two drops, two hopeless nightmares. All right, so we have exactly 23 playables right now. Cell sword's really nice. Um, I don't. I, I guess I could technically add red, but I think we're, we have a pretty stable um, deck right now. So I'll take the Sweet Tooth Witch. I probably won't play it. I think we're we're pretty good with our deck as, as is. I don't think we have any major stinkers here. We got another Borrow Naughty. Would be pretty pretty cool. Maybe I'll cut Prismatic Prism since we're only the two colors. You can see how many bargain targets we have. I want to make sure we have some of those for the High Fate Negotiator. Because we didn't see a rat out, which I do like also for the bargain. So. Uh, no playables here. Hopeful Vigil is really good. Obviously, I'm not white. I'm not going to play Dark Tutelage. So I will just... Uh, whatever. Okay. Running out of chances for a rat out here. I guess I have two hopeless nightmares for a bargain target. I have a curse roll for a bargain target. Not sure if we're going to play the prism. If I play Sweet Tooth Witch, I have a food bargain target. Wow. All right. I'll take another Obara.
I think I'm going to cut the Rowan's Grim Search over the Sweet Tooth Witch. And I'll cut the Prophetic Prism. Wow, tabled the Splashy Spellcaster. I do have a lot of four drops. Five instants, no sorceries. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to play this, but I'll take it. Wow, and another fairy. All right, we have to make a few cuts here. All right, blue black fairies looking very strong. Um, I feel like this deck's almost too good that I'm going to blow it. Okay, we have 17 creatures right now. That's a lot. Sword our deck from creatures and non creatures. Okay, I don't think we need Snare Master Sprite. It doesn't do enough. So we have two more cuts to make. Right now we have one bargain target. Splashy, splashy Spellcaster does make more bargain targets. Stingblade Assassin's nice, but I think the other flyers are probably better. Stab wound, candy grapple. All right, so not a lot of bargain targets. So I'm going to hold on to the Sweet Tooth Witch. One more cut to make. It's a little tough. Maybe the Tome Seeker. I like that we have so many instants. Uh, a spell caster. Spell caster. Or tome seeker. I'm going to get rid of. Uh, This is tough. Really on the fence between. That would only leave me with three three drops. Two candy grapples, one the end, one taken by nightmares. All right, I'm going to cut the Tenacious Tomes. Tome Seeker. Tenacious Tome Seeker. All right, I think this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. Um, mana base, double black, a lot of double black. We're gonna go, whoops, little lag there. 17 lands. But why are we short a card now? That's 17, what happened? So confused. Oh wow, that was that's scary. How'd that card get up there? 
Okay. All right, we got a blue black fairies deck. Let's get into it. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. Really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my YouTube account. Can't do it without your help. So, <sighs> wonder how we'll do with this deck. I really like the way it looks. Um, I hope it performs. I don't think we have any rares, but we have a lot of good uncommons. So we have two high fey negotiators. We have two Obaras. I think there'll be several turns where we're just um, passing on turn two with a couple options open, instance and flash creatures. Uh, on the play against Ben Ribirio. Biro. We'll keep this hand. Looks solid. Our opponent is number 53, ranked Mythic player. Cast Hopeless Nightmares. Hopeless Nightmare, sorry. Discards an island, plays a forest. Uh, I could play Gadwick's first duel here. Um... I am not going to play it. Okay, now we have three lands. We have Spell Scorn Coven up. I'll pass. If he doesn't play any spells, I have Hopeless Nightmare that I can break. All right, so I will return that to his hand. All right, this, this guy's talking too much. I don't want to hear him talk. We'll play our... Coven, have him discard another card. He discards a removal spell. I'll take it. Plays another Ice Rot Sentry with green open. So I'm going to attack him here. I'll get Gadwick's first duel on versus creature, and then I'll pass. Welcome to Sweet Tooth, sure. Okay, so weird, weird play. Just kind of tapped out unnecessarily, so don't really expect that coming from ranked player 55. All right, so this is <laughs> this is pretty unfortunate because we just drew an Evolving Wilds and we want both of these cards. Um, but we can't cast the High Fae Negotiator until we cast Evolving Wilds. So not great um yeah yeah this is not not great Okay, so my dream spoilers is going to die. Okay, we'll get in there for two. We'll play... Obara on their turn, and we also have Obara's Attendance if we want.
So he is at 3 3 now. I will cast a bar as attendance on that. Just make sure we tap our mana right here. Yep, okay. Take zero. Troyan got the explorer three mana one three. Tap to add two. Cast a spell five or more or X in their cost or pay one blue and loot. I'd like to kill that as soon as possible, but I don't know at the cost of losing my high fan negotiator. Okay, so we will now attack for four in the air. We'll play our Dream Spoilers. I will sack my Evolving Wilds for a Swamp end of turn. And uh, I think they're, depending on what they play in their second main phase, I think we might we might have this game locked up. Maybe a big, big mother goose. Hamlet Glutton, okay. They go to 10. Uh, I think they're dead on board, so that's good. We're going to attack for six in the air. High fin negotiator will make them lose three, so that's nine. And then Obara casting a spell. Uh, yeah, we'll just cast it, I guess. Bargain our enchantment. They lose one life. And then we'll swing in. So unless they have anything, they're dead. Cool. Good start. You watch this game, I'm sure you thought, wow, that's a good fairy deck. And I agree. <sighs> okay. 1-0 going to game two. Jump right back in, playing Caleb 18A. All right, this is a mulligan. All right, we'll keep this one. I think we're going to get rid of the splashy spellcaster. Brave the Wilds, okay. Opponent plays a, or puts a planes in their hand. I'll play island and pass. We got Obara up next turn. Red. Okay, nothing on turn two for my opponent. Okay, so I will attack for two. I'll play my Picklock Prankster, where I can cast Sweet Tooth Witch, and the next turn use my Attendance and my Picklock Prankster. That seems a little better. I would not be surprised if Abira is removed at this point, though. Now, if my opponent attacks here, uh, if they have Monstrous Rage, they die. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll block here. I don't mind. Wow, they just pass here. That's uh, not expected. So they might have the do five mana card. Um Interesting. Either way, no, this is when I cast a spell.
They have nothing. Interesting. Okay. I'm not going to sack the food. 4-4 four, four haste. Okay, that's good. So I'll cast my Obara's Attendance. I'll take zero. Okay, I can candy grapple their 4-4 four, four and sack my food. Um, I might do that, but I can cast Mocking Sprite as well. So let's swing in here. We'll play Mocking Sprite. Did they really just tap my mana that bad? Oh, that's so frustrating. Like, you know, sometimes it makes sense, but this is like, that made no sense. And now I'm taking six that I didn't have to take. Really frustrating. Now I can't even candy grapple their creature. Like in, in what world would I want to do that? That's, that's really, really frustrating. All right, if I create a curse roll on this, it'll become a 2-2. Two -two. If I put a curse roll on this, it'll become a 2-2. Two -two. A 3-3, three -three, actually. I'm really upset about this this candy grapple situation. Oh, so frustrating. I'll make their 6-6 six, six, a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, that, that auto-tap solution just, just made no sense. It's completely illogical. All right, so I'll cast my Candy Grapple. I'll bargain it. So their 3-3 three, three becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Ruby. I'll keep the island on top so I can cast Obari's Attendance next turn. Uh, yeah, so I don't. I could stab wound and kill one of his creatures, but I think I'd rather cast it, you know, next turn if I need it. And I have the end mana up, so I can kill any of his creatures if he tries to buff them to try to kill me. He does not have any adventure targets. Edge wall in. Keeps eyeing up my first duel. Twisted fealty. Gain control of target creature. Untap it. Put a wicked roll. <laughs> All right, I guess they were dead, so what are you, you going to do? Okay, another win for us. Although I would say the most frustrating win is possible. <laughs> Is that auto tap the bane of my existence? But you know it happens. So uh, two zero going into game three with our strong blue black fairies deck.
Canadian eh team. I like it. Okay, I'm on the play. Looks like a good hand. Cast turn one, hopeless nightmare. I am not going to cast Gadwick's first duel here. Okay, quick quick game so far. I'll play Mocking Sprite on turn three. Instant sorceries I cast cost one less. Okay, my opponent casts Fairy Fencing. That's okay with me. So I could end a turn, get rid of Hopeless Nightmare, which I'd scry to, but then I would lose my High Fae Negotiator or the bargain target for my High Fae Negotiator. I'll just cast uh, Gadwick's first duel. It's not doing much right now, but... I will be able to scry two, so. Okay, both of these gotta go. Okay, Sugar Maw. Menace Trample, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may sacrifice an artifact or enchantment or token if you don't tap it. So right now, this person has no targets for this card, so it does nothing. I'm going to play my high fey negotiator. What's cool is next turn I'll be able to copy my candy grapple with wow, another two lands. We would have four lands on top if we didn't scry. That would have been I'd be complaining about that a lot. So So next turn we'll be able to copy candy grapple, which is pretty cool. So assuming they play some target for devouring sugar maw. It's pretty pretty weird. I don't even know if I want to copy, copy Candy Grapple. I feel like I'm a, I'm ahead, but we'll see what what they do here. Too bad I can't copy uh, Stab Wound twice. That would have been pretty sweet. So if my opponent doesn't start playing stuff, uh, they're in trouble. I can bargain my stab wound with candy grapple as well. <laughs> All right. Easy game. I think I'm getting a little lucky here with these games. Maybe my opponent got flooded pretty severely, I'm thinking. So 3 0 so far, fairy deck. Um, we haven't had to do much, just kind of getting some easy wins here. I think the first game was the, the toughest so far, but. We're playing Messiah88. If you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, on the play, good hand. We'll play Borrow Naughty on turn two. Nice, draw Candy Grapple. We don't have any targets for Bargain right now, not yet. We are not going to Stab Wound that. We'll play our Mocking Sprite pre-combat main phase so we can drain them with the lifelink. Cool. Tell three ages. Enchanted creatures you control. We'll get plus two, plus two. Wow. Nice 6-4 ward. Pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I don't think I block. I have enough health. 
All right, so to kill that, what do we do? What do we do? So we can't kill it with Candy Grapple. If we stab wound it, it'll become a 4-2. And they'll lose two life every turn. Um, and then my stab wound will, in theory, just give minus one, minus one, now that they have Tell for the Ages in play. I think I might just... Uh, this is tough. I could pay four and cast Stab Wound, and then I have a... Yeah, I, I don't love this, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so we're at 16 after they attack. We'll be at 12. We have a bargain target if we really want to kill it. Okay, looks like they're stuck on three lands. That was a really nice draw for us. So we now have a bargain target for Hyphae Negotiator and Sweet Tooth Witch. Oh, sorry, and Candy Grapple. So they'll get a treasure token so that I can start casting their four drops. We do not block the four two here. I'm losing two health every turn. Should kill them. They'll take, yeah, they'll be pretty low on, on health here. All right, looks like they might have some removal. They're looking at our creatures. High Fae Negotiator, I know that card. I bet they thought their Minstrosity would die. All right, so now they have, I'm at six all of a sudden, geez. <laughs> when, when did that happen? All right, um, yeah, we're still, I think we're still in, in really nice shape. They're gonna keep losing a bunch of health every turn, so. A candy grapple mana open. Um, yeah, I think we just we just pass here. We could attack with our sweet tooth witch. Keep some pressure going. They're definitely going to attack me with min minstrosity next turn, so I'll end up going to six. They block with the high fey negotiator. I can use candy grapple to kill their high fey. Yeah, I think we'll attack here. I think they're going to block with the 2 3. Maybe they don't realize candy grapple will cost one right now. They're trying to figure out what I have. All right, so now they're at seven, and I have five, six in the air, and seven if I pump it in the air, so. Which I won't even need to if Minstrosity is still in play, so. Maybe they'll just play Wrath next turn and just uh, Wrath the board and then win. <laughs> Hopefully not, but it's possible. I forgot what that Wrath card is called, but. I think you know what I mean. What is that card called? White Wrath. I would know if I've ever drafted it, but I am not. Okay. Opponent gets a treasure. Princess takes flight. Okay. Probably exile my 3 5. 
He could have targeted his Minstrosity, but... So right now, they're dead on board if they don't have anything else. Because I can pump my Borrow Naughty twice. All right, so I will take five. I'll go to four. So I can, they'll take two at their upkeep, so they'll go to five. And then I have two in the air, and I can pump Barrow Naughty twice to make that five. So I also have the Sweet Tooth Witch, so. All right, what do you have? Stroke of Midnight. All right, they are dead. They take five and they lose two at their upkeep. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Another win. We are 4 0. Diamond one. Not too shabby. Just keep on rolling, baby. Or oh, going to game five with a pretty solid fairy deck. What is that wrath called? Wrath is called Expel the Interlopers. So I'm glad my opponent did not have an Expel the Interlopers. What do you guys think? You think we're gonna make it to the to uh, trophy? We're playing. Yoka Kanana. Yo Kakanana. Alright, this hand is pretty slow. So Emma, we're on the draw, so hopefully our opponent does not play a mountain on turn one. Don't want to see a mountain. Okay. Drew a one drop, that's nice. We also drew a bargain target, probably IFA negotiator. So really good good rip there for us. Okay, they discard that Charmed Clother. <clears throat> oh, wow, another good rip. Play our Picklock Prankster, 1-3 Flying Vigilance. You could play our Mocking Sprite next turn. Mountain. Discerning Financier. Financier. We will attack. We could just stab wound him here. And he has an O one. Uh it's pretty aggressive, but let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Will they play a land here? If they just pet okay, they're gonna play a land. Okay. All right, they create a treasure and then create another treasure and then exile the top three cards in my library and they could play those cards this turn. Okay. We'll attack here. We'll play a swamp and a mocking sprite. Would have been nice if I had that blue mana open though, but. Princess takes flight. Okay. Exile one creature. Targeting their own creature. Okay. Rotisserie Elemental. I don't remember what this card does. I just don't remember being very good. When it deals combat damage to a player, you can put a skewer counter on Rotisserie Elemental. Then you may sacrifice it. If you do, exile top X cards of your library. Rex the number of skewer counters on Rotisserie Elemental. You may play those cards this turn. Yeah, so not so good. Okay, so this is interesting here. I may want to keep the counter mana up, knowing it might be kind of a big turn for him. Or I could just play the negotiator and keep the pressure going. Exile top three cards of the library. You may play those cards this turn. 
what could they really play? They could play a high foot fade negotiator. That'd probably be the best case for them. Taken by Nightmares is also pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just play a little little passive here. I could even like do some silliness with Scry, but um, I'm not going to do that. They're at nine. They're definitely in danger. So. Um, Although if I play high fade negotiator, they'll go to six, and I'll have six in the air next turn. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, then I get the scry two, so they can keep one of my swamps, and they can not use dream spoilers. Okay, they're at six. I have six in the air. They could play a swamp and two more of my other cards. Burrow Naughty and an Island. So I think that was that was the best play. I could do some scry shenanigans. I have six in the air. They'll play Barrow Naughty. All right, yeah, this card does nothing, so. I take one, and they get a skewer counter. They could play Swamp, Burrow Naughty. Then I'll cast this is the end on the Barrow Naughty. Hit them for six. All right. That looks like a GG. Wow, another good rip for us. Do I control an enchantment? No, I don't. I'm, I'm pretty greedy here with my two removal spells. All right, scoop it up. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Oh, they can cast Light Blades this turn. Well, I'm going to counter it, so. Good game, my friend. Yep. Cool. <sighs> nice. Another win. Okay. 5 0. Going infinite with this Wild of Eldraine draft. I just keep winning and I love it. Some games I've get, definitely gotten lucky, um, but this draft went well. This deck's good. Um, I'm really hoping to trophy here. Got to win two more times or I lose three more times. So 5 0, going into game six. Uh, okay. This hand seems good. We drew really well last game. Uh, we, we had three three drops in our hand. Or two three drops in our hand. And uh, we drew a one drop and then a two drop. Really, we were lucky last game. Fairy Dream Thief, one mana, one one flyer, enters the battlefield, surveil one. When it's in the yard, you could pay three, draw a card, and lose one life. So I'll play in Island here, and then I'll pass. So next turn, I will cast Obira while they're attacking to block. At least hope how that goes, and uh, block their 1-1 flyer. This card's a pain in the neck. So Scalding Viper, whenever I cast a spell with mana 3 or less, it does 1 damage to me. So, yeah, I'm going to pass here. I can consider blocking the Scalding Viper with Obira, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Conceited Witch, Wicked Roll. Okay, so now if he attacks with the Scalding Viper, I will block it with my Obira. It's not worth to trade with that 2 2 flyer, so.
torch the tower? No torch the tower. Okay. Three mana. If I cast Chadwick's first duel and I put a cursed roll on that, it does nothing. So I'll play a mocking sprite and really hope for a land next turn. Not sure what my opponent has. I think Torch the Tower makes sense, but I think if I... Uh, rat out, okay. It's the only piece I'm missing from this deck, I think. If I play a land, I think I'll play the Spellcaster this turn. Hopeless Nightmare. All right. Chadwick's first duel does nothing for me, really. Well, I'm definitely casting this. Wow. Taken by nightmares. That's kind of terrifying. Chadwick's first duel does nothing, and then it scries to, and then it might do nothing. So... Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, pass here. I could always cast Chadwick's first duel targeting the Conceited Witch. I go to 11. Yeah, he's leaving red open. I don't think that's a coincidence. Still no lands. Cast this on Conceited Witch. Uh, if we don't draw land as soon as possible, we're going to lose because I'm, I'm sure they have some tricks up their sleeve. I don't think I have three turns to live. So we'll take four here. We'll go to seven. Wouldn't be surprised if our opponent killed us next turn. Okay, land. That's nice. Uh, dream spoilers and another land. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll just keep it like that. All right. So we can play the spell caster to block a rat. We can play dream spoil spoilers to drop to block a rat. Feel like whatever we cast is going to get killed. Next turn, we'll be able to cast, we'll be able to double cast uh, Candy Grapple. Uh, this is a little harder to kill, so I'm going to play. Splashy Spellcaster. Cut in. All right. Harder to kill, but not that much harder to kill. All right. I'm taking five here. I'm at two. I can cast double candy grapple next turn. Oh, we're dead. All right. Can't win them all. Got a little mana screwed that, that game. That's okay. Five one, going into game seven with our blue black fairies deck. Hopefully, keep on rolling. 
We took one stumble, and that's okay because we drew really well. Um, not last game, but the game before that. So it's okay that we didn't draw so well that turn. So that game. Can't win every game in Magic. There's a lot of lot of luck involved. So a lot of waiting between games. Okay. I can't read that, nor do I know what language it's in. Oh, this is not great. If I had an island here, instead of any of these cards, it would have been a lot better. So we're going to mulligan here. Uh, okay, this hand is much better. Not sure what I'm going to pitch here. I'm thinking the... It's either the stab wound or the first duel. The first duel really hasn't done too much for me. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the first duel. Oh, my opponent also mulligans, so good. We're both in the same, same uh, boat. Where? Warehouse? Yeah, Warehouse Tabby. All right, no more lands this game, please. So Tabby, pay two to gain Death Touch until end of turn. So they attack now. I'm not going to block. Cheeky House Mouse. So now I'll block if they attack. So they made a mistake there. If they just attacked first... Unless they have a rat out and they'll just blow me out. No, they don't. Okay. So they made a mistake there. Play my Sweet Tooth Witch. Save that food for one of my bargain cards. If he attacks me with a cheeky house mouse, I will take it. Blue, black, red. Three colors. And on the mulligan. Not bad. I don't control an enchantment for taken by nightmares. But I have the stab wound in my hand. I have two Hopeless Nightmares. I have a Gadwick's First Duel, which is on the bottom of my library. Splashy Spellcaster. So not a ton of enchantments in my deck, but still good removal nonetheless. Sellsword. Okay. Nice 3-3 three, three for them. All right, so we're going to attack here. If he blocks, we'll cast Obira's Attendance on him. No block. All right. Uh, I think we'll pass here. We'll see what they do. If they make their 3-3 bigger for some reason, I can kill it. Or somehow I'll kill it. All right, I'll take three. I guess I could have cast a buyer's attendance there, but I'm not mad at it. So I'm thinking about playing the spell corn spells <laughs> scorn coven this turn, but I think I'll get a little greedy and wait till they have less cards in their hand. I am winning this race for sure. Uh, Obira. Wow, so my opponent is at least four colors. Okay. I will let that resolve. I'll take five. I still have a lot of life total here, so. They pass turn here. All right, so that's kind of unfortunate, but we're going to get rid of their Obira, or attempt to get rid of it. Obra, whatever it is. All right, so their hand. What do we have? Oh, that's the wrong card. I'm thinking of the end. Okay, we're going to get in there for three. Is 
This is kind of tricky. There's a few things I could do here. I am going to just cast my spell scorn coven here. So if they do attack here, oh, a swamp, okay. If they do attack here, I will take it, and then I could swing back for five. I could stab wound their creature, and then I can sack my food with Sweet Tooth Witch to kill them. Barring they have nothing. I go to nine. Interesting. All right, we'll swing. All right. Cast stab wound. Okay. So I'm not going to fling the food yet. Let's see if they have anything. They don't have anything, huh? All right. Imagine they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. Great. Another win. Back on track. 6-1, baby. Ancient Carp, ranked number 96. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, this is, <laughs> this is not great, but we'll just draw really well. Okay, 6-1, Ancient Carp. Crystal Grotto, Scry 1, okay. Sweet Tooth Witch, not bad. Red. Interesting. Okay. I'll cast. I don't know. I'll just cast Sweet Tooth Switch. Spell Stutter could be good later. Okay. I hope they play uh, Grabby Giant this turn. I don't think they will, but. All right, so this card's pretty cool. Uh, first ability is relevant. Whenever another artifact you control is put in the graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on Sir Ginger and scry one. So if he uses his trophy, his, yeah, his trophy, it becomes tre treasure, sorry. If he uses his treasure, it becomes a four, two. So I will candy grapple with Sir Ginger. I'll have my spell stutter mana up. Get in for three. I can cast high fade negotiator next turn. So looking pretty good. Possible they play grabby giant next turn. Land grabby giant into my spell stutter would be pretty fantastic. Looks like something different instead. Okay, one, three, sure. Don't care about that at all. All right, we'll play another swamp. We'll attack. If they make, um, whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, it gets plus two, plus O until end of turn. I 
I don't mind trading here if they're going to, I don't know, play quick study and block. It is cast, so even if I counter it, torch the tower. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Now, if they have their own spell stutter, that would be really sad. That would be a huge blowout. Oh, they don't have it. Good. Okay, no more lands. It would be good. I don't think I need even an island. I don't have any double blue spells in this deck. Do they have uh, Johan Stopcap? Okay. Interesting. Sure, I got a 20. It's unfortunate we keep drawing these lands. Okay, do we want to play the high fade negotiator? Just have a 3 5 in play? Doesn't seem like the worst thing ever. Um, I just won't be able to spell stutter or candy grapple if I do that. But, you know, I have another high fade negotiator, so. Okay, another Grabby Giant. He is the Grabby Giant tech, which I think is a really nice card. Grabby Giant, okay. 4-3 Reach. Mocking Sprite. Ugh. All right, let's, uh, let's attack. Okay, he's at 11. I'll play Mocking Sprite. And I can still candy grapple. I can't spell stutter, but that's okay. So I'm not sure if they'll attack here. Um, I have a lot of health, and they have not not a lot of health. So planes. I don't think I've seen a white card yet. He has two cards and a grabby giant. He's eyeing up my mocking sprite with cut in. Okay, so his Aquatic Alchemist will have a young, whenever this creature attacks, if his toughness is three or less, so his toughness will be three or less, so it can get pumped. Yeah. Uh, okay, sure. So if he does attack, I'm actually going to kill his 4-3. Uh, his Because the 4-3 has reach. And our spell stutter isn't very good anymore. Because it's a, it's a mana leak. So 3, 4, 4 lands. Alright. Tapped out. 4, 7. They have 7 lands. Ugh. Okay, bluffing that I don't just have a land and a counter spell in my hand. The spell stutter is a mana leak, so three. They have to have. If they cast a five, now if they have to cast a six drop or more than one spell for me to spell stutter it. Cooped up. All right. We are behind. No more lands. We're at a 65% chance of drawing a non land card. I take two. He plays Grabby Giant here. I can counter it. So we will spell stutter his Grabby Giant. Okay. Interesting. 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 So I'm pretty sure the move is to play this here. I have an 8 12. Sixteen. I only have a sixteen percent chance of drawing something that creates a bargain target. So we are just gonna we'll play the high fade negotiator. Keep the pressure going.
They were 64% to draw a non-land card. My opponent plays another land. He exiles my creature. Interesting play there. Got another land. All right, we'll attack with three. We'll pass our turn. We go in full control, so he thinks I may have something else. Uh, I think we win if we draw a stab wound on this turn. Uh, we, what is? What did he just do? Oh, he used... Oh, got it, okay. So he's using the put target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library, targeting Johan's stopgap. I assume he'll attack here? Yeah, okay. So I'm at 10. Wow, they didn't even let me respond to that. That's pretty unfortunate. Okay, so next turn he could do another four. He has seven. All right. Stab Wound is the best card I could draw right now. Warrow Naughty is not the worst card for me to draw right now. Okay, so I have a 1-3. That can become a 3-3 lifelink. And he's at 2. So we know he has you on stopgap. He can swing in for 7. Uh, he'll need two things to kill me right now. He'll have to get rid of both of my creatures. So I'm feeling good. Stopgap on my naughty. Yep, sure. All right, got there. Another trophy. Uh, really doing super well this format. Uh, another 7 1. Uh, I'm killing it right now. Very happy with this format. I'm winning a ton. Uh, I'm going to check my untapped GG right now and we are at let me just reload this real quick i'm really bad at recording so i can't even show you my screen <laughs> you'll have to take my word for it um yeah so we trophied um last draft this draft the draft before that we went six three the draft before that we went seven two so so far this format we have a 62 percent win rate 71 and 43 overall. Um, really, really, really doing well. So uh, I really appreciate you watching. Um, I'm King, P King Bimo TV. So if you could follow me on, on Twitch, subscribe on uh, YouTube, really appreciate it. And like the video, comment, tell me what you think, give me any feedback. Uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.